All right, first serp of the day is this super defensive water snake. Here's another look at this queen snake. That's awesome. This is my first snapping turtle of the year. Oh, there he is. Found a milk under this one last time I flipped it. Oh, wow. All right, this is the habitat I'm going to be herping today. It's a nice rocky bottom stream. Um, and I'm gonna be trying to find some queen snakes. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, we got a little northern water snake right here. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on him. All right, he was right down there. By the time I climbed down, he got away. So. I'll try to be more careful next time, but we still have not found anything. Alright, so I was riding my bike down my driveway, and right at the bottom of the driveway was this thing. This is my first snapping turtle of the year. I did pick him up just to move him out of the way and get you guys a better look, but look at that animal. I'm gonna get behind it. Oh, there he is. Did you see that snap? Here's his size. So not the biggest, but still quite a large animal. That's just so awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm just gonna let this guy on his way. That is pretty cool. First snapping turtle of the year. And it's a good one. All right, so now I'm at this pond habitat. We got some rocks along the edge, also a bunch of bushes. Um, and I know from being here in the past, there are a lot of water snakes here. So that's what I'm hoping to find today. Let's get to it. All right, first serp of the day is this super defensive water snake. Like it's actually crazy. Usually they calm down pretty fast, but this thing is not happy with me. Um, he's pretty nice looking. He's got some nice red lower down on the bands. Um, I actually found him because he was sticking his head out from underneath a rock. But yeah, I'll just let this thing go because he does not want to be messed with. That's so cool. And a pretty average size too, so. I'll just kind of let him slither away. Nice. All right, since that last water snake, I have not found anything. They are everywhere here. You can see this one right here, but they're all just out of reach and very difficult to catch. So I don't know if I'll be able to find any more snakes or catch any more snakes at least. All right, everybody, I'm back here again at the same spot. I'm hoping um, that I'll be able to find something more than just a baby water snake this time. But the weather does feel better, and I'm out here earlier today. So, I feel like today should be good. I don't know, we'll see. Right at the edge of the water, there's these little like vines right here. And in them was this big old garter snake. He's very feisty, but quite large. Here, I'll bring him over to the trail so you can see him. I think I found a shed from this guy last time I was here. He is definitely a feisty snake though. But very large, very big garter snake. I don't really feel like getting bit by him though because garter snakes have big teeth. So I will just let him go, but that is nice. I don't usually see garters here. It's usually just water snakes. Um, but I'll just let him go back in these vines. All right, pretty cool. Uh, one snake for the day and it was a nice big garter. I'm gonna keep looking. 
All right, we got a queen snake right here in the water, sticking his head out. This is actually the third one of the day, but the other two got away before I could get any footage. So I'm gonna go down there and try to grab that guy. All right, so I went down there and there were actually three queen snakes and two out of three of them got away. But I got one, so that's awesome. Number one target, um, I've seen five of them in all today, and I've only gotten my hands on one of them. But I'll get you guys a better look at this guy. I'm actually so excited about this. Here's another look at this queen snake. Pretty cool. There's his belly. Some nice stripes. That's awesome. All right, it's always very difficult to pose these guys. They just never stop moving, but I have them under this frisbee right here. Um, I wanna try to get some good pictures of this guy. All right. Yep, never gonna stay still. Too bad. All right, I found that with queen snakes, sometimes the best way to get a good look at them is to pose them on a rock or something and then just walk away. And that's the only way that they ever stay still. But here he is, he's pretty calm. I might actually try to get a little bit closer. Here's another look at him. He's posed pretty nicely on this rock, but I have a feeling once I get closer to him, he will start moving again. Alright, one last look at this queen snake. I'm just going to put him back in the water. There he is. Alright, I'm at a different spot now. But I'm just going to flip some of these rocks in here now. I found a milk under this one last time I flipped it. Oh wow. There were two garters. One of them got away. Kind of freaked out there and tried to get the other one, but it was... That one was bigger. Alright, here's the smaller one. I'll get you guys a better look. Alright, that was hectic. I was trying to get a flip clip. Um, and because I did not have two free hands, one of the garters got away. The bigger one got away. But I got this smaller one, at least. It's in shed. Um, but yeah, that's better than nothing. I will just let this little guy go. Well, that's nice. I don't really like flipping too much of this stuff because I don't want the mailboxes to fall. All right, so that garter snake was the last herp of the day. Um, so I know this video has been kind of slow. I've been finding a lot of common stuff, but within the next month, I definitely hope to find some timber rattlesnakes, black rat snakes, and all sorts of cool stuff like that. So stay tuned.